something. And that's just the main difference. I was fixing my last set. I'm growing this set. I love that. I love I love that feeling of just being able to let my locks grow instead of me feeling like I'm constantly fixing them. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh Hey, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kwanjanae and today I am going to be talking all about my locks. Uh, I am so excited about this video. I have not been able to, I'm just like, oh, look, it's all about the locks. <laughs> Excuse me if like my energy is just giving so just jittery. But um, I'm so excited because I haven't sat down on my YouTube channel and just talked in a minute like I haven't just talked like when I first started my YouTube channel so so long ago I used to sit down and just talk and just do different things and I want to get back to doing that like I know I talk in vlog styles and different things like that but as I'm doing my hair as I'm doing like just different things I need to just sit down and just talk so here I am just talking and actually letting y'all get to know me a little bit more and getting to know my hair because I realize I just post a lot about my hair and I post a lot of snippets about things I do in my life but at the end of the day y'all probably like who is this like when did she start her hair what is going on she just had this she just had that like it's probably just so all over the place on my page so I'm just coming to y'all now to kind of explain a few things and just like tell y'all all about my locks so it's so this video is just going to be like an intro video. I'm going to answer this with like some frequently asked questions that I get. I'm going to take y'all through like how I even got to this process of my locks and things like that. If y'all feel like this video is not in depth, I can always do a part two. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all comment and let me know the video in depth. And if not, we can always get a part two going like I said. So, alright, let's go ahead and get into this. And I got some questions on my phone that I am going to be answering y'all I cracked my phone screen I was so mad about it I'm cracking my phone screen <sighs> I dropped it when I was at the gym and I was like it's cool I was getting a workout in but anyway so, so first thing I'm gonna talk about is how I decided to start my lock journey so basically I for years not years well yeah I've seen people with locks all the time my dad has um he has locks so like I've seen my um, uncle has had really long locks and I've seen them have locks and when I got to college, yeah, that's when I really was like, okay, I want to lock my hair. I was just doing different things with my hair. I was just dyeing my hair. It was red. It was all different types of colors. Like, I was just doing whatever with my hair. So then I cut my hair and then it started to grow back and my hair was really long and I can insert some um, videos. So yeah, that's another thing I'm be doing. I'm be inserting um receipts for y'all so y'all can see so um this was my hair like when my probably like my senior year going yeah probably my senior year of college that's when um I was like okay I'm gonna start taking this decision to lock my hair for real so I started looking up inspo on Pinterest and I was like okay 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 and when I started looking at inspo I you got to take into account that your hair is not gonna look like everybody else's hair and I don't think a lot of people understand that like I think that everybody going to it like okay I want my life to look exactly like this and that was my and let me wait, wait, wait let me pause for a second because I don't want nobody saying, oh, you put words in my mouth. I'm going to say for me, for me and my experience and my experience only, when I went into it, that was what I was thinking. So, I had to stop myself. And I'm not even going to throw that on y'all. I'm going to throw that on me and I say people, I'm going to say myself. <laughs> look, I don't know, look, I'm doing some counseling skills on myself right now. But yeah, so for myself, I had to realize like, girl your hair is not, it may look like this person's hair for their before pictures but your after can be completely different and i feel like that's the beauty of locks like when you lock your hair like i feel like you never know what you're getting because like one lock you you don't know how the lock's gonna turn out like yeah you can palm roll them you can twist them you know like the kind of look you're going to get but you never know like the like each lock is gonna look you look each lock is gonna look unique I can't yeah, but you never know because each lock is going to look unique. So, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> but, um, and that is what excites me about my locks. So, going into that, I had three sets of locks. And I say three because with my first set, it was like two weeks I had it in my hair. <laughs> so, um, with that set, my friend started that set. It was nothing wrong with that set. I just knew nothing about locks, y'all. Like, I promise y'all, like, I was just like, okay, it's cute. I think my locks gonna turn out like this. I just wanna do it. I'm tired of doing my hair every day. I'm tired of waking up an 
hour before to have to do a ponytail that could last all day. I'm tired of doing this. I'm tired of doing that. And it was like, my hair was just, seemed like it was just getting so high maintenance. I was dyeing it. And the dye was just turning different colors after a couple of weeks. Like, I was just, uh, I was just so irritated with it. At one point, my hair was just like four different colors. And that's how my hair is now. So, I'm guessing. But it's cute on my locks. Like, it's, it, was, it was cute on my hair. But, like, I was just over it. So, like, um, it was, yeah, that's just, yeah. So, it had looked how it looked, and I was like, all right, I'm not doing this no more. I'm going to lock it up. I'm serious. So, my friend went, and she locked my hair up. It was, um, they were small. They were so small, but they were cute. And after a couple of days, like, did my hair start getting so frizzy, and I'm like, you can't even see the little foundation of it no more. Like, I'm doing something wrong. Like, I got to take this out, but I tried to thug it through, and I'm like, when do when am I supposed to get a retwist? Like, what's going on? Like, after a week, I started, like, mm-mm. So, after the two weeks, I'm like, I don't like this. I look like I need my hair done. I just cannot do this. Like, no. And it wasn't like anybody was ever saying, like, looking at me like, oh, we need your hair done. Like, what's going on with that? But it's just like, and that's another thing, like, with me, I never go out for, like, with anybody else thing. Like, everybody else be like, oh, if everybody else like it, oh, this everybody else experience. Like, that was me with my, like, ugly face. Like, everybody else experience don't matter because it's me if i see myself and that's something i had to break out and that's what i also love about my life like that broke me out of the oh your hair gotta be so sleek thing and i guess that's like kind of how i grew like okay my hair like always gotta be done but like it's not and that's never a bad thing never a bad thing for anybody who experienced that like i said only talking about my experience and don't know how everybody else experience it is but how i grew up like i always wanted my hair done need my hair done my grandma kept my hair done like it was always that so like when i'm going into this now like okay my hair about to be frizzy no like because when i tell you i used to do sleek hairstyles y'all used to see me do sleek hairstyles and i'm not saying that my hair always looked 10 out of 10 like <laughs> you know like it was, it was some five out of five out of tens in there but like it's still like at the end of the day like i always try to keep my hair together Back to my point. I'm rambling now. When I got those locks, it was just like, okay, freezing this? No. Don't like this. Don't know what's going on. Took them out. Two weeks into that, I believe. It was two to three weeks, maybe. So, took them out. I'm like, no. And they're also, I was like, they're too small. I do not want, like, anything that's going to be, like, a sister lock. Because at the time, I was thinking, like, yeah, I can retwist my hair myself in which... I'm my own lock teacher now. We're gonna get to that part. But yeah, so um thinking then I was like, yeah, no, like I'm probably gonna be learn how to retwist my hair. I'm not gonna want to retwist all these locks. Like these lot, like they small, they frizzy, I don't like this, I can't do nothing with this, blah 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 blah. All the excuses took them out, got nervous, scared. Um, so then I'm like, okay, whatever. So then I met um there was somebody on campus and she my home well, she my homegirl now because it's my girl but uh she my that's my homegirl now with um at the time i didn't really know her but like she just did um here on campus so i got in contact with her y'all go check her out her um instagram and stuff is silky strands and if y'all in the area make sure y'all go um hit her up but yeah so i booked with her she started my second set i loved my second set like but the only thing about my second set with me is i still did not know what i was doing so we started my second set and i just um the style was cute it's just i was not prepared for like it to look how it looked. I guess, like, I don't know. I just got so nervous again. And that's why I was saying, like, I just, because I didn't know. It. And that's one thing I wish I would have did was just, like, look up stuff. But anyways, we're not talking about the lessons I learned. We're talking about getting back to my locks. She put them in. They was cute. I was like, okay, ladies, whatever. Um, Went through the months. As I got through, I started, like, not wearing my body. had lint in my hair, whatever the case may be. My locks, they were, they started getting really thick. So, that's one thing I did not like about my sex set. My sex set, the locks were too big. And I didn't understand, again, that with your locks, like, as they're growing, they're going to get thicker. Like, that's, I didn't understand that whole process. So, when they started getting thick, I'm like, okay, well, they're kind of too big because certain styles I want to do, I can't do. Like, I thought they would be, like, you know, I would have more locks. And I didn't realize, like, okay, I didn't have as many locks as I thought I would. So, it was just, I didn't know. So, as time went on, I was like, yeah, I don't think I want these. I'm like, I'm going to push to a year. So, I pushed to a year. Year comes up, I'm like, yeah, year on the year date, I'm going to start combing these out. So, and that's 
exactly what I did. On the day I I hit my like first um my one year anniversary, I started coming those things out. So I end up coming them out to me like four or five days. I'm like, yeah, hair a mess. Like ends just as see through as possible. I'm like, yeah, I cannot keep my hair out. So I did me a little ponytail video, and y'all should go check that one out because it was probably the last one y'all probably ever see. But um, <laughs> of me with my hair out. But yeah, so I did that, and I was like, yeah, that's it. Lock my hair back up. I thought I recorded me locking my hair up, but it's not on YouTube, and I can't find the footage, so I don't know where that footage is. But yeah, so I locked my hair back up, and. Uh, that was that. Initially, I locked my hair up and I didn't have as many locks as I wanted. So, I kept the back end and I just redid like the whole mid front. And I'll insert those pictures because as y'all can see, like, um, they were kind of big. And I did the around big because... I, um, before I had an issue with, like, thinning, and I, that was also, like, um, a problem because I was putting my ponytails too tight, also something I didn't know. And it wasn't tight to the point where they were hurting, it was just tight to the point where they were pulling and I was wearing them too much, and that's another reason why I try to wear my locks out more. But, um, yeah, so I was, I did the around a little bigger. So now, that's why the back of my head is bigger than the front of my head. Because those were there first and then these came. But, all together I have 92 locks. And that's when I counted before. And I don't think I combined any or anything like that. Because the ones in the back, they are like kind of really small. And I was, um, I'll get a little closer so y'all can see those. But like these, they are really small. But then like... The ones in the back. It's like all the ones that are dyed. Those are bigger. And then these parts up here are like way smaller. Like those. Those are way smaller. But all together I feel like it doesn't look bad. I like the look. So I, I'm glad I did it. And I'm glad I redid it. Because I felt like. If I didn't redo it, it would have literally been the same thing. Like, not the linen stuff, because I learned my lesson from that. I keep a bonnet on. That's one thing I do do. <laughs> do do. I keep a bonnet on, and I make sure that I take care of my hair the way I need to now. But fast forward, I put these in. And ever since I put these in, y'all, I love them ever since. The sense, even through the ugly stage, whatever the case may be, they were thin, but I saw the potential in my hair from the start. I was like, these are going to eat. I just have to be patient. And patient I was. And I love them. And it was so, and I'm only at 11 months, and I've been in love with them ever since like and i would say the first three months were kind of a struggle because my hair was so thin but i did cover them up a lot but covering them up was just get me trying out more styles i did boho box braids over them i did twist over them. i did all types of twist over them. i did like two different three type three different types of twist over them. i did all different types of stuff over them and it just helped me become a, i feel like a better lactation for myself so like i just and I say, uh, let me just say just my own like teaching because people would be like, you're not like teaching, but I say for myself. But, um, yeah, so I just do it for myself. Like, I don't do nobody else locks. But, um, and I have loved every single step of this experience. I would not change anything about this. And, I, like I said, um, coming up on 11 months in two days is because today is January the... 10th so I'll January oh I'm saying yeah coming up on 11 months and two days I might say February 12th is what my lock anniversary will be so that would be my one year and I can't wait I think I'm gonna dye my hair I'm not gonna tell y'all what color it is but it's up in the air it's up in the air so I started out every single one of my sets with two strand twists and I started off with two strand twists because from my knowledge I felt like two strand twists would help me keep some length and for me I feel like it has worked each time that like I didn't feel like I had major shrinkage but there is a phase that I feel like I went through every single time where my hair drastically kind of like gets a little shorter and then it just drops and I feel like I'm kind of getting into the it's starting to drop now phase because I went through like okay my hair looks extremely shorter and I was like mm, I don't really know about that but I definitely feel like with this set I saw that mainly because with my ends they were 
so see-through like I said so I was just like Ugh, I really don't know like I know that I see the potential but I'm ready for the potential to start showing but it did like shrink my ends up and that's why with this set my ends aren't as curly as my last set with my last set my ends were real curly and that's because I was able to like comb them out and stuff like that but with this set I have not put a comb to my ends because I already know my ends are like thin and it could very well be because I was coming out my ends um with my last set but I didn't think to like that I wanted to ever take those out so I mean I didn't really care but it's all about like what you want to do with your hair and that's why I tell people don't follow everything you see on the internet because you never know how it's going to affect your hair and I was okay with have wanting to be bald or wanting to come out or whatever the case may be and that's just me because I knew the look that I was going for just like people put extensions in their hair they know the look they're going for it but anyways like I said know the look you want to do and what you want and that's the look that I wanted and how it affected my hair is how it affected my hair and so um after that I was like okay cool whatever the case may be here we are with these everybody asked me like what color my hair is I did this pickable and I dyed this with bleach and it just turned out the color like it is I don't know now like my front of my hair is brown and that's from my hair just being blonde from like when I dyed my whole head blonde before wait is it oh yeah that is that is that's a long time ago that was before I was having to think like when was that because that was before I combed my locks out my hair and my hair just changes colors like it go reverse all the way back to that blonde when I dotted that color but I think now my hair is kind of going down but after I dot this next color will we're it's probably going to be something I can't say y'all. Anyway, we're talking too much. But yeah, so so I told y'all like any ch the challenges that I faced with my life. I talked about how with this set mainly it's been me just worrying about my ends. I haven't had any breakage. I haven't, and that's been that is good because these are smaller, and I feel like. I've been taking very good care of these. Like, I've been wearing my bonnet. I've been moisturizing them. I've been washing them. When I've been doing um, styles, I've been making sure I've been cleaning them afterwards. I've been getting all, like, trying to get all the, um, if any, synthetic hairs in my hair. Because, like, I, you know, I use synthetic hair. And that's something that people be like, oh, don't use it. But, it, like I said, know what you're getting yourself into. It is very likely and very possible that if you put the braiding hair or any of that hair into your hair when you're doing these um extension styles that hair can get wrapped up in your lock very likely if you don't go through and kind of you know get them together after the fact so be mindful of that too and that's also why um like i try to not do it so heavily because i know like that i don't want all that in my hair because when i go to dye it you can tell be especially if you're dying in a lighter color and most of the time when i don't put like color um sit that hair in my hair unless my whole head is like colored but um, with the um with the one b and like the black you it's not gonna die and it's gonna look crazy because that happened to me with my last set and I was like, ugh, you could literally see, like, you know, some of the synthetic hairs within my lock. And I'm like, oh, I am not taking care of these how I should have after I did have that style. And basically for my hair, I try to, right now, I don't use any, like, I love Miel products. The couple of products that I do use, um, Miel has my heart and Camilla Rose. But, I mean, here's the thing. So I gotta find out some things for my girls because I know not, like... Uh, and I think that if y'all, I don't know, I'm not, I look, I'm still trying to get a sponsorship, <laughs> so I'm not going to speak too soon, but look, my experience, I've been saying this the whole time, is my experience, so my experience has been nothing but good things over this way, but if they want to send me some stuff and I try it out and, um, you know, like, I'll take one for the team, so y'all can still send it. You know, and I'll try it because I love the stuff that I have that I pay my money for. So, if y'all want to see some stuff. <laughs> and for 
for real. I love Mia and I love Camilla Rose. So those two products I use heavy. I use some other products that I will also put here because my head is going in a blank space. But y'all will see them there. And those are just like some daily products. If y'all want to see me use those products, then I can do that. But I use those. I, I wouldn't say daily. I would say I use those like three to four times out of the week. Because I don't try to like keep putting a bunch of stuff in my hair. Because that's another thing. Like I have bad build up. For my last set. And I did not like that at all. Like it was just. It wasn't too. Like I say bad build up. But like it wasn't like you could see it. But I could see it. So that's why when I was getting into my last I'm like mm mm. And that's the main thing with my with my last set. I was felt like I was fixing my last. I didn't feel like my last was girl. I felt like that was. I was fixing it. Every single thing I was doing was wrong. I just had to fix this. I had to fix that. When I fix this, it was a little right. When I fix that, it was a little right. But with these, I feel like it's a growth process. Like, I need to, like, I'm watering my locks literally. Like, I need to grow with them. I'm growing with them as they're growing. They're flourishing. Like, I'm, and that's just the main difference. I was fixing my last set. I'm growing this set. Like, I love that. I love, I love that feeling of just being able to let my locks grow instead of me feeling like I'm constantly fixing them. And for the products that I use every day, these are natural products that either me and my husband made. So, um, I know the rosemary and clove water, just to keep that very simple, it has, um, I think a couple of essential oils in it and might have something else in it. He made that batch, but I, um, when I do make it, I just do clove and rosemary and that water, you just put clove and rosemary in the jar, you let it sit and then you... I think we are, we let it sit however long, but you can, I would say let it sit for at least at least two days before you use it if you want it to be like really good but I we just take it out the jar as much as we need and put it in a spray bottle and then we go on if y'all want to see a video on that I have a video on that on my TikTok but I can also do a full YouTube on how we make that and then um also I use and this is kind of daily is the homemade oil we make with the homemade oil I probably use that like three to four times out the week but Cause it's cold outside, I had to think. I was thinking like, cause it's cold outside, I probably do use that like almost every day because my scalp gets really dry. My skin gets really dry. So I have to keep the oil. If I'm wearing my hair out like this, my scalp is going to get dry. So I make sure that I am oiling my scalp because I do not want my hair to get dry because it just feels weird when it does get dry. So I'm making sure my hair is moisturizing. With that oil, it's not hurting me. And the oil, my hair takes oil really well. I know some people's hair doesn't take oil really well. And that's something that I had to experience with myself. Like, what does work for me? But like, I would feel like with moisturizers, it weighs my hair down with the oil. And my hair just kind of like moisturizes with like itself. So with this oil, this oil is a grape seed based oil. Um... The one I made before, now that one I can't speak on the way he put in there because I think he just put a bunch of different oils in there like coconut oil, grapeseed oil. I think he put some avocado oil in there. He put a bunch of oils in this one. But the one that I'm kind of like I know that simple is grapeseed base. You can use grapeseed or coconut oil base and then um, some fenugreek seeds, some aloe vera and um, fenugreek seeds and rosemary. Fenugreek, yeah, and rosemary. And I feel like that oil that I made it was a good it was a good oil and we used it up and so um getting those natural herbs and stuff like that that can help your hair grow and I feel like that has helped my hair grow tremendously and that's why I'm excited to see like where I'll be in another year because my hair grew a lot. So I know I didn't get a chance to say everything I wanted to say. And I told y'all like I was kind of rambling and kind of jittery because I was super excited for this video. But if you have questions or you want me to answer more questions, I can do more videos of me just talking about my locks. And like I said, I can go into depth to month to month experiences. And I definitely will be doing monthly lock updates on my channel. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe so y'all can see that. Make sure you turn your post notifications on because every Friday I will be posting videos about my locks and then also on Wednesdays I will be sitting down and talking so if you like to hear me ramble and just talk about different things make sure you tune into that because that will be a whole thing so this will kind of be the launch of me doing Wednesdays and those are going to be called Quarantine's Quotable Moments so that is where I will sit down and I will talk about different life things or even maybe some hair things sometimes but it's going to be mainly me sitting down um I'm getting a whole little setup it might be a little podcast style so I don't know we're going to see but I I just wanted to give y'all a little sneak peek if you stay towards the end of this video 
you got that little, that little throw out there. So, um, I'm super excited about that. So many things I'm trying to get out. So many videos I'm trying to get out. So much exciting content that I'm trying to get out to you guys. And I'm trying to make sure that I'm working on my editing skills. I'm trying to make sure I'm working on my delivery with things. I'm just trying to make sure I'm working on everything. So, if y'all have anything that y'all want to see, make sure y'all comment down below. I'm trying to make sure that I'm being more interactive with people who want to talk with me and just learn more things. And if y'all have questions, like I said, um, I can answer them through video through comment sections and those things but make sure y'all follow me on tiktok and make sure y'all follow me on my live page and y'all can also follow me on my personal page and all the information will be linked down in the description box thank y'all for watching and if y'all want to see more of my hair make sure y'all subscribe and i'll catch y'all next video bye also if you want to support me y'all should go shop i love my lock collection ah! It's on Lots of Lock page. So it is something that I made. And it's just because I love to express that I love my locks out loud. And I just wanted a simple, cute t-shirt. Something that was not going to be too much. And didn't have all that graphics and stuff on there. So if y'all want to go shop one of the shirts, get one. It's really cute. All different types of colors. Also sweatshirts. Also bags, hats, phone cases. All that. And why not like go shop with your girl go get you one it's so cute i will show y'all mine but i don't wear the thing down ever since i got it so it is in the washing machine right now but here's a video of it like i said i wear that shirt in almost all my tiktok videos i love the shirt it's super comfy i gotta go get me some more colors but i just been so busy trying to get this content out to y'all but get you one get you one get you one <laughs>